This is a little Stirling engine I built from plans I got online. It's uh, by a German guy called Manfred. It's quite a simple little engine to build. Nothing too hard about it, but it turned into a quite a nice little engine. Quite pleased with it. It's uh, powered by that little uh, spirit burner in the front there that's running on methylated spirits. These engines are totally sealed system. It's uh, they call them atmospheric engines. They uh, don't ask me exactly how they work, but they do work. <laughs> not a new concept, this, 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 this uh, Sterling fellow was an engineer and doctor up in Stock, Scotland and, uh, in the 1800s sometime and invented these engines. I quite like them because you can run them indoors without the exhaust gases you get with a normal internal combustion engine, you know. But there's nothing quite like the sound of an internal combustion engine and the smoke and the smell of the burning petrol. But these are nice to run indoors, silent, not obnoxious in any way. This one's running quite smooth, quite pleased with it. made mostly of uh, aluminum and then uh, the flywheel is made of steel. It's two aluminum pistons. A lot of brass used in it. And... But mainly it's steel and aluminum and brass. cylinder that's getting heated up it pushes a piston back which drives drives the, the air that's in that vertical vertical upright there vertical engine frame and it goes down to the base base unit and then there's a hole drill right through the base unit and then it comes up in the center of that piston and it, they, they both pistons work in opposition to one another Pretty neat little engines, really. I wish I had one when I was a kid to play with. Instead of the copal tins and string I used to have to play with. There it is, the Manfred Sterling engine. Made from plans that you can get on the net for free of charge. Thanks for watching.